this is Isaiah 62 and 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon our walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yeah, the Heavenly Father put watchmen upon your walls, O Jerusalem. But those watchmen are the prophets. Yeah. Start with the elders all the way on down. That's the one that the Heavenly Father rose up. That's what the Heavenly Father said out there to go teach his word. Okay? That's when the Holy Father put sent out there. But guess what? Y'all not hawking it. Y'all want to hear the word of the Lord. Y'all want to do your own thing. You got something? No, it's more to it. Y'all want to go y'all want to do your own thing. Read on. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. And we make a mention of the Lord. And Lord will we go keep, no, keep silence. We are part of your elect, right? Yeah, Lord will, yep. Got Lord? another one. Uh, that was it on that. Let's get, get this right quick. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning fr from me. Yeah, again. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. He made, him also, he made the prophets start with the elders. A watchman, go on. It, okay. It says, and give them warning from me. And give them warning from me. And that's what the Heavenly Father got us out there doing. Blowing a trumpet, warning you of what's to come. The martial law, the mark of the beast, the concentration camps, the guillotines, yeah, one the World War Three, the destruction, warning from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, warning one, one, one from the Lord because he's going to bring these things. Yeah. So we're warning you what the Most High is going to do and if you don't get right. With the most high, you won't get caught up in it. That's right, no more. It says, When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Yeah, again? Okay. It says, When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to. Yeah, when you say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. That's too much two thirds going on. Yep. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. No speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. That's what Yahweh supposed to be, Gehenna supposed to be doing. I don't think I ever heard Gehenna mention World War Three. You? Nah. I never heard him mention him, man. Or Comfy. Does a, does a fox ever mention that? Is a fox? The fox? Oh, um, not that I recall. I know we really watch this video. You gotta do that. <laughs> I never watched none of them guys' yeah, videos. Spare had I mean, watch I just don't think they ever said it. Yeah. To be honest. You know, you see like little 42 second clips and things like that. Yeah. But read that part again. It says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. Lord. To save his life, Lord. the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Yeah, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. So you're going to die in your iniquity, man. Along with that person, too. Go on. That's it on that? There's more. It says, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Yeah, the most I will require his blood at your hand. So he's going to perish, but you're going to perish, too. You know? Go on. Yeah, if thou warn the wicked and he turn. Not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way. He now, if you warn him, and he don't turn away from his wickedness, we don't. He shall die in his iniquity, but thou shalt, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah, he's going to die in his iniquity, but you're going to deliver your soul because you did what was right. You did the job that he followed some sent you out there to do. Okay, can you go back to the book of Sirach? Okay. 42 and 16. Yeah, Right, this is Sirach chapter 42, verse 16. It says, um, The sun that giveth light looketh upon all things, and the work thereof is full of the glory of the Most High, of yeah. the Lord. It's like it. It's 40, oh, I'm sorry, 36 and um, 16, not my fault. Yeah. Um, so that was a good one, too. Sirach 36, verse 16. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. Oh. Yeah, re reward them that wait for thee. Yeah. You're waiting for the Lord. Oh, first Peter, the first chapter. I know that scripture. First Peter, the first chapter. It says, speak about waiting for the Lord. First Peter, chapter 1. I believe it's verse 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we can start from verse 8. 
And don't forget that scripture in the Bible too. Yeah, I got you. Right. This is First Peter chapter one verse eight. Verse seven. Okay, verse seven, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah. Or, you know, be found to praise and honor and glory at the appearance of Yahweh Shah. And that's going to happen with the elect, because the elect is going to be the ones who are going to endure that fire, that tribulation until the end. You know it says, Whom having not seen, ye love. Whom having not seen, ye love. We never see the Lord. Yeah. You remember the house shot, not, the house shot walking by the camp? Do we need evidence? Do we, do we need, do I need to look at a document, a, a picture of him? Like, um, or, or here's an actual picture of him at that exact time, an actual photograph. Through the Spirit. That's right. You believe in the Lord. Before you actually saw the treatment to the Lord, you believed in the Lord. When you first came in, we must heard about the, the the truth, you know. You didn't just see a picture of the Lord right there. You just heard men speaking. You didn't even know who these, who these guys was. Yeah. But you believe what they were saying was true because the most High opened up your mind to understand it. You know, we know through the scriptures, man. Everything that we that we know, we know through the scriptures. Through the Spirit of the Lord, which He used the elders, but it's through the Spirit of the Lord what was written in the scriptures. Go on. Right says whom. Whom having not seen, ye love, Go on. and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice. Yeah, whom though now ye see him not, yet believing. Go on. Right, it says, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Yeah, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. That's the joy and rejoicing that's going to happen with the elect when the Lord comes back. They're going to rejoice with joy unspeakable and with glory because they're going to be delivered. Which they're going to be in favor when that time comes because that's when it's going to be manifested who the Lord has chosen. Yeah. But when that time comes, that goes into the 15th chapter of Revelations when they're going to be um, praising the Lord on the chariots, looking down at the destruction. They will rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. You know, unspeakable joy. So people out there who had kids and was all happy when they had their first child, yeah. it's going to be unspeakable joy, man. Yeah. Go on. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. And that scripture you can pull out on people that say they're saved. The scripture says receiving the end of your faith, which is the salvation of your soul. So your salvation of your soul comes at the end. You know Not now. It didn't happen now. It comes at the very end. You know Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Of which salvation the, the prophets... The prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come to you. So the prophets, they, they searched diligently, diligently and they inquired of the grace that was to come. One of which is Ezra. Second Ezra is um, the fourth chapter. I believe the fourth chapter speaks about um, the judgment being like a ring. Second Ezra chapter four, verse... Um, Let's see verse um, 22. Right. Second Ezra chapter 4 verse 22. Then answer I and said, I beseech thee, O Lord, let me have understanding. For it was not my mind to be curious of the high things, but of such as pass by us daily, namely, wherefore Israel is given up as a reproach to the heathen. So you want to know why Israel is given up for a reproach to the heathen? Why was you on the bottom? Why was you suffer, suffering persecution by these heathens, by these nations? Go on. Right. That the Heavenly Father was not dealing with. It says, And for what cause the people whom thou hast loved is given unto unga ungodly nations, and why the law of our... And why are your chosen people given unto these ungodly <clears throat> nations? That's what he's asking the Lord, you know. And why the law of our forefathers is brought to naught, and the written covenants come to a none effect. Mm -hmm. And we pass away out of the world as grasshoppers, and our life is an astonishment and fear, and we are not worthy to obtain mercy. So we were on the bottom, the Heavenly Father wasn't showing His mercy, He wasn't dealing with us. We don't. What will He then do unto His name whereby we are called? So what will He then do to, his, what, to we? To today? Yet again? It says, what will he then do unto his name, whereby we are called? Mean to the children of Israel, go on. Of these